toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have this super glowy, glittery makeup look for you. I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to take loads of photos once I film this intro. This is a Coachella inspired festival makeup look. I mean, you could just do the eyes if you wanted to for a night out or just like take inspired from like the glitter and everything. It's completely up to you. Festival makeup is so easy. It's one of those things where you can just play around with so many different ideas and creativity really is the key. I really hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It would mean the absolute world. And if you are going to any music festivals this year, definitely let me know. I love them. I would love to chat to you about what you're going to, everything like that. Without further ado, let's just show you how to create this makeup look right here. I'm starting by taking this colour right here from the Morphe 35B palette. The brush I'll be using for this is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'll be going into the shadow and then tapping off the excess, just gently swirling my brush into the shadow. And then I'm going to start by applying this on the outer section of the crease and then slowly bringing it inward. Taking this quite far, like in that kind of in a corner section, if you will. Then I'm slowly going to join it together with that outer corner, just in little circular motions. Now I'm also picking up this orange shade, also from the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm taking this on the brush that comes with the Anastasia palette, so it's just the fluffy side of the brush. Then I'm just going to add that to what we've done already, just to intensify things. By adding different colours, it really helps to add like a different dimension to the eye, rather than it looking so flat. This is what's going to really help with the blending as well. Just really focusing that in the crease section as well as the outer corner. This is a festival look, so I'm going to make it really intense. Then I'm going to go back into the brush that had that kind of like peachy orange shade and just kind of give it a little blend. Then I'm going to go in with this ready orange colour right here to really deepen things up. And I'll be taking this on my, what is this, MAC 217 brush. All the writing has now scratched off. I'm just going to start by kind of like really packing this on the outer kind of like edge of the eye, the outer V. But like really using that packing motions to really pack on that colour. And then I'm going to slowly bring it into the crease but not bringing it too far up. And then I can start being a bit bigger with the motions once I've really packed on that colour. Then I'm going to go back in with that orange shade just to blend it out a little bit. And then, you guessed it, back in with the peach shade. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I just did this eye off camera and I feel like I may get off frame when I do this. So I'm gonna try my best to stay in the exact same position because my camera doesn't autofocus. But I'm going in with the PS Matte Eyeshadow Cream in the shade. Okay, there is no shade, but it is this purpley pink matte eyeshadow cream. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what color it is. I didn't want something like a concealer where it kind of slips and slides. I wanted something that would just stick so I can get a really sharp line like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do this eye as well. The brush I'm using for this is a small Stargazer like face paint art brush. This is really good because you can see like how thin it is, like paper thin. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply loads of the eyeshadow cream to my brush. I did have to go in a few times with this. And then, <sighs> moment of tension. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just tilt my head back like so and kind of, you can kind of see where I've mapped up here. So it's above the crease. That way when you open your eyes, you can still see it all and it like extends your eye almost. So I'm just going to bend my head back like so. I think I'm going to do a voiceover for this section because I really don't want to mess this up and it is something that makes me very tense so I can't really talk. So here we go.
and breathe. <laughs> so for the lid glitter, I'm going to take this small, teeny tiny brush. This is from Spectrum Collections. Just going to spray it with a bit of setting spray just to make it nice and damp. I'm going in with the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, taking this gorgeous shade right here, which is called Woodaby. Once I've tapped off the excess, I'm just going to be applying this just exactly where we've put this matte eyeshadow cream. And just look how vibrant that applies straight away. Being really careful not to like look up too much just in case it transfers. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about how like sharp it is right now because what we're going to do is take this aquiliner from Makeup Forever. This is in the shade one. This is like a glittery liner, which is what I use to kind of like carve out that crease area. This is going to be another section I think I'm going to do a voiceover for just because it's really tense and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Then I'm just going to take that same gold shade just to kind of fill in where there's a space between the shadow and the liner. Next up is another tense moment. It's recreating this sharp wings liner on this side. I'm taking the Sigma Wicked Pen Liquid Eyeliner. I said that in a really weird order. This is from Sigma. So I'm just going to give it a shake and apply it. I'm going to put music over this because I really don't want to mess this makeup look up. But you can kind of see what I'm doing in the video. So I just cleaned up my under eye with a damp cotton bud and also just kind of wiped away the excess like pink shadow just here. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit later. It doesn't really matter too much but I wanted to need some up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is curl my lashes. These are just the Primark eyelash curlers. They are so good and they're £1.50. I highly recommend them. Then for mascara I'm going in with my new favourite mascara which is the Sigma Sinuosity Lash. If you want to get money off this mascara because it is so good you can use the code Chivon makeup is. I'm just going to apply the mascara to my lashes being really careful because we know what happened in the yellow eyeshadow tutorial. If you haven't seen it go watch it there was a massive fail in the video. For lashes I'll be applying the Eldora M111 lashes as you can see these are super dramatic. I'm going to apply these off camera just because I'll end up going out of focus and I'll be right back but if you want to see how to apply false eyelashes there's loads of videos here on YouTube. If you want me to do one then definitely let me know um, but I guarantee you'll be able to find a video on how to apply them. So moving on to the skin I'm going to start off with the Primark Primer Water. I love this stuff I don't really know if it actually helps to increase the longevity of your makeup I just really like the feel of it on my skin so I'm just going to spray this onto my skin and then I'm just going to fan it dry so now my face is slightly tacky. I'm going to further prime the skin using the PS Instagirl Blur Primer. This is really good for creating like a matte appearance and smoothing out any pores. I want to kind of like have a nice flawless base and then add in shine where I want it. So I'm just going to massage this into my fingers. Start by working it into the center of the face and the chin. Then also on my forehead as well where I've got those fine lines. And into the pores as well. And then whatever's left to kind of like rub towards the outer part of my face where it's not really that needed to put all the texture and ow I just poked myself on the nose we'll be okay for foundation I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation purely because my fake tan has rubbed off if I was doing this video probably oh 
apply the super stay 24 hour foundation because that's my favorite this is still really good it's just not as full coverage while i'm applying this foundation i have been arranging nyx power league team <laughs> I'm just being a football manager at the moment. Okay, so back to the foundation. I'm just going to bounce it into the skin using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Going along the lip as well. Probably end up on my lips, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to really work it into the skin, create that nice flawless finish. And then when it gets to near under the eyes, I'm just kind of like pinch the sponge and pull upwards like so so for like the contour i don't want to apply my mink stick to flawless foundation stick like i always do because that's quite a dark contour i just want to more like bronze up the skin so i'm taking the primer concealer in the shade caramel i like this like it's not that much darker really well, it is obviously darker but it's not like really intense like the mink, mink stick to flawless stick it's just simply just going to add some more warmth to the skin i don't really want to go in with a heavy contour so i'm just applying that kind of like under my cheekbone and like a triangle shape around my temples as well just sort of like where the sun would hit you and like bronze you up and then i'm also oh, i'm gonna move my earring out of the way and <laughs> also apply some along my jawline as well to attempt to give me a jawline i don't really have a jawline <laughs> under my chin under my lip and then also at the tip of my nose just to add some shade to my nose area to blend that out i'll be using my favorite brush for blending out my cream contour which is the real techniques expert face brush just going <laughs> these earrings i really should take these out um but i'm just going to blend under my jawline first just in kind of like backwards motion swiggly motion just blending it out really taking my time with this like i can't wait to do my makeup but we are festival I'm so excited. I have no idea what I'm going to do. The thing is, because I'm filming and get ready with me, I don't want to do this exact look because it will just be boring to watch the same look again. But I'm really digging like the cut crease. I think it's so cool. Under my lip, my nose. And then I'll also be blending out the tops of my forehead and around my temples. Then I'm going to go on to concealing. As per usual, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. They've changed the names. So it's a bit of a tongue twister now, but this is the shade Light. I'm going to give it a quick twist up on conceal my chin. I'm breaking out quite a lot at the moment. It's due to hormones and stress and whatnot. So we're gonna apply a lot of concealer. They're not like pussy spots, if that makes sense. They're just like under the skin, like angry hormonal spots at the moment, which is quite annoying. Apply some around my mouth as well. Basically just concealing my whole face for a new face. <laughs> I'm just going to conceal my forehead and like an upside down triangle which will add some nice light down the centre of the nose as well and then of course under the eyes for a nice bright eye look I'm going to be smoking out the lower lash line I think a little bit um, but I still want to conceal underneath my eyes and this is my blending sponge okay so I'm going to blend out this using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and then I'm going to blend out the centre of the forehead as well, and then down the centre of the nose, and then under my eyes. These are probably like the biggest lashes I've ever worn, like they're just massive, I really like them. They're not massive as in like thick, they're just like really long and spiky and I'm really into them. They're really dramatic, but I feel like when I look in the mirror it doesn't look like pff, lash. Do you know what I mean? Next up, I'm going to go in with the PS Strobing Highlighter Cream in the shade Champagne. Going to apply this to the tip of my Beauty Blender, Clash Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, just squeezing the sponge together so it like helps to blend it out without going all over the cheeks. I'm also going to bring it up onto the temple as well. I will apply a lot of highlighter within this look. This is just kind of like the starter bit. Also going to apply some of my lip a little bit down the center of the nose i think not a lot just a little bit moving on to highlight i have no idea which highlighter to kind of like base my look off purely because i'm obsessed with this amrezy anastasia highlighter like it's just so beautiful but i kind of want to apply something else i don't know no i'm gonna apply it because i know it's fab and you all need it in your life link down below but literally it's the best highlighter i've ever tried it's so freaking good so spraying my brush with a little bit of the primark primer water just to wet in it so really intensify the highlighter i had someone comment a few weeks ago asking why i usually spray the brush for highlighter and it just makes it more intense and stops it looking cakey or like powdery so i'm just going to apply a generous amount to my brush tap off the excess a little bit excess we want all the highlight but it's going to apply that onto the um cream from primer and then you can also use like a patting motion to really pack it on if you want 
I am digging this makeup look so far. Like, I'm so happy with it. I haven't even finished. Eek! I feel like my makeup looks always turn out better when I'm not in a rush for work when I'm filming. Because I mostly work um, evenings now, so I always film in the day. Then if the makeup's, like, wearable, I'll wear it to work. If it's not, then obviously I'll take it off and then go into work with no makeup on. But when I have a day off and I film, my makeup always turns out so much better because I'm relaxed, I can take my time, play around and see what works out. Apply that to my lip. A little bit down the nose as well then i'm going to set everything in place using my rimmel stay matte press powder in the shade transparent with my big fat primer powder brush i love this powder brush it's so good i'm just going to swell it in tap off the excess and then just pat this into the skin I'm applying quite a lot to my chin it's going to help add a little bit of extra coverage to that kind of like spotty hormonal area going to build it up underneath voiding the highlight area directly on it but kind of touching it slightly just to help blend it into the skin so i'm going to start by applying the sigma long wear eyeliner pencil in the shade wicked i'm going to start by applying this to the inner rim of my eye this is just going to help to make the lashes like blend in to my eye a little bit more. Obviously you can tell these lashes are fake, like there's no way in hell they're going to look natural, but you're just going to apply it underneath and it will kind of stop that awkward like line of skin. Now I'm going to apply it on my waterline, okay, so I'm just going to apply this on my waterline as well. So I've decided I'm going to apply all of those like ready orange shades on the lower lash line just the same as before. But before I do this, I'm going to apply like a base to the lower lash line. And this is the Makeup Revolution or now Revolution Beauty, very confusing, eyeliner in the shade Vice. It's like a ready orange colour. So I'm going to apply this under the lower lash line as a base. I'm going to go straight in with that ready shade we used earlier and then I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line starting with the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with the orange shade as well. Then I'll go back in with the peachy shade just kind of like over the top of it. And then of course we need to apply some mascara to my lower lash line. Now, I'm not too worried about the mascara on my skin. I'm just going to let that kind of set and then I'll get rid of it eventually. Moving on back to the face, I'm going to start by adding a little bit of contour. And to do that, I'm taking this Nip and Fab Contour Kit. I'm going to take the shade Ginger, which I've worked out is this one right here. It's the more like warmer contour. And I'm going to take this on my MAC 180 Duo Fibre Brush. Um, it's the brush that's like the thin Duo Fibre Brush, but I really like this for contouring if you're adding like a nice light contour. So I'm going in with the shade Ginger. I'm just going to start by applying this under my cheekbone and then bringing it upward in like little circular motions to help blend it out. And also applying it to the tops of my forehead and like around my temples. So apply some under my jaw. Then I'll also apply it down these sides of my nose. I feel like I look like a pirate, but I'm quite into it. Now the mascara's had a little bit of time to sit, I'm gonna take a cotton bud and it just wipe away any of that kind of like extra mascara that's gone under the lower lash line. Then to add some light to the face, I'm going to take the banana shade from the Nip and Fab Contour Kit and then apply this on my chin. So I'm gonna apply this to my forehead down my nose a little bit and then I'm going to mix it with the shade vanilla here and then apply it under my eyes just to help brighten that area up. Moving on to bronzer, I'll be taking the NYX Medium Matte Body Bronzer on the Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush. Just going to spell the brush into the product. Tap off the excess quite a lot and then I'm going to start by bronzing up my skin. Starting with the main points, so like on my cheekbone, just above the contour, around my temples. Moving on to blush, I'm taking the Primark blusher in the shade Taboo on my Zoeva Luxe Cheek Brush. Applying it to my cheekbone. Okay, next I'm going to set this into place using the Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm just going to give that a shake and spray it on. Take my mirror and give it a good old fan. So now we're going to move on to adding more highlights. So I'm going to take the Amrezy highlighter again on my Zoeva Powder Fusion Brush. And I'm just going to apply more of this to my cheekbone with being a little bit more heavy handed. I'm also going to apply some of this highlighter to my brow bone as well. This is on the Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. 
Then I'm going to apply some brow gel just to get rid of any kind of powder residue as well and just help them stay in place. I feel like I want to add my lips to this look before I add glitter because I don't really know where I'm going with the glitter for this look. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Well Lip Liner from MAC. I'm going to go in with the Sleek Matte Me Metallic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Copper Plate. It's like the newly released one. I went to the launch party. It was so much fun. I'm just going to apply this to my lips. Okay, so for inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Highlighting Duo Pencil with the shimmery, si uh, shimmery side. I'm going to go in and highlight my inner corner, just applying that quite heavily there. This is going to act as a nice sticky base for the highlighter. I'm going to spritz the pencil brush with a little bit of setting spray and then go in with the Ambrizi highlighter. I'm going to be taking a generous amount on the brush and then applying that to the inner corner it just really adds light to the face makes it look so much better so i am back i have eaten some noodles my lipstick's still on i topped up a little bit on the inner bit of my lip but that's about it because my camera died so i had to put it back on charge for a little bit so now just to finish off the makeup look i'm taking some glitter which i've mixed up with some hair gel this is the in your dreams gold Gileth? Lileth? Lileth glitter. Um, it's got little stars and little finely milled glitter in it. So I'm just taking this on a Real Techniques foundation sponge. I think any synthetic sponge is really, sponge? Brush is really going to work for this. So I think I want to apply the glitter like around this section. Kind of like meeting with that highlight. So I'm just going to start. Oh, it's really cold. By just kind of like applying this and spreading it around. It's quite fun actually just applying glitter like everywhere. And I mixed this actually with VO5 Freeze Styling Gel. I saw people from the Gypsy Shrine applying it with mixed with hair gel. That's what I'm doing and it does last a really long time. I've done this for festivals before and I definitely recommend it. You can get things like glitter glue if you're like have really sensitive skin and you don't really want to put hair gel on your face, which is fair enough. Pick up something to stick the glitter down, otherwise it will just fall everywhere. It's going to kind of like tap over here, I don't want too much, just like meeting with the highlight. I think that looks pretty. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did creating it for you. I love this makeup look, like I'm so happy with it. This is one of those looks that I filmed in such a long time that I'm really like, oh my god, I can't wait to take loads of photos after I film the outro and the intro of this video. I really like it. I think you could go fill out and even apply some gems like in your like forehead, under your eyes, in a corner maybe if you wanted to, but I just like the way this looks. And like with the hair and everything, I literally just put my hair in braids, slept on it for a couple days and then just took it out. And then I just took it out and I'm left with these like big like beachy waves and then I just took out the braids like halfway and then just pinned it and it looks really like cool and like I spent hours on it which really I just not even really brushed it <laughs> there you go if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it would be really appreciated also hit the subscribe button down below I upload a new video every Thursday and every Sunday at 6pm UK time so it's definitely worth subscribing if you have any video ideas let me know hit the notification bell as well so you are alerted when I upload a new video but that is all from me I shall see you next time thanks so much for watching bye